Hey YouTube, how are you? Um, today's video, Massey Ferguson 375. Um, very early version, she's a 1987 version. Um, two wheel drive, these were also available in a four wheel drive. Um, because they're, they're kind of the baby cousin or the baby sister or whatever you want to call them of the um, the two, sorry, the 390s, the 399s or the 398s. Um, <clears throat> similar enough tractor. Um, Perkins is four cylinder straight engine. Um, I don't, there's no turbo on it. Um, good clean tractor. They actually hold their value. They 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 hold their value to an unbelievable amount. Of course, all massive Ferguson's do. Thirty eight inch wheels in the back of it. Um, lift arms. Um, there's the back of it there. You can see is very similar to a one six five or a one six eight or something like that. Um, there's an extra spool block here, it was piped for a loader at one stage. Um, connection for lights, there's your thing for leaving down your um, trailer hitch. Um, levers for working the lifts, you can work the lifts from outside. You can see them going down there. Um, good idea um, for putting on attachments and whatever. All the lights, everything works in the tractor. Um, yeah, let's give a quick look inside. Oh yeah, before I go inside, um, one thing that did happen to me in the diesel pump, or uh, the injector pump, the that's the, the stop valve we'll call it, um, it got stuck and I came up one morning and I couldn't start the tractor and I spoke to a friend of mine and he recommended that I put in um, fully synthetic two-stroke oil in with the diesel. He said that runs through the system, it's good for the system and um, it stops um, the whole thing clogging up, especially if your tractor is not in everyday use. So fully synthetic or semi-synthetic um, two-stroke oil. Mix it through a drum of diesel. Um, that's the diesel tank here. Um, put it in, leave it, leave, it work, leave it work as magic through the system and uh, it should get you going again. Um, or if that doesn't work, just get something and tap the pump. Just tap the pump and that will free out the valve inside it. Now this is the three speed, three gear lever version, my apologies, three speed. She's also three speed, but she's the more popular version with the, the three gear six. Here's your clutch, your light switches. Um, this lever I believe to be for the PTO. Now the PTO does give, do not say it gives trouble in them. What happens is there's a break inside in the tractor and when you start the tractor, um, the PTO stays turning, or when the tractor gets hot, it'll stop, or when it, um, with a load on the PTO, it'll, it won't turn until you engage it. Um, we climb into the tractor, and here's your auxiliary spool valves. Like I said, there must have been a loader on it at some stage. There are your lift control arms, your brake, um, your accelerator. Down here is your differential lock. You have your three gear levers. You have high low, um, you have the crawler gear, and you have one, two, three in reverse. You have all your lights. There's 4,680 hours up in this tractor. Now the one thing that does kind of go wrong with these tractors, close the door, um, here's there's a glove box. And in the glove box, of course, there's every tool and every bit of card and rope and whatnot that the farmer might have, or you might have, or I might have thrown in there out of the way. And they're left inside there. There's mud gathered inside there. There's everything. And it actually goes out up against the door. And it rots the door from the inside out. So that side is starting to go. But this side was completely gone. And somebody replaced it. They've done a fairly okay job on it. Um, this is kind of torn in here. But look, it's, it's a comfortable tractor. It's a nice tractor. Um, you have your blowers. You have all this. Now, when I'm starting this tractor, the key on already, I'll... Mm. I will um, turn the key just one click right and then take, give it a small bit of heater plug. There's heater plugs in the manifold. Just one slight bit of a turn. Don't go the whole way. Just go a small bit extra and hold it. I usually like to hold it for 10 or 15 seconds. Of course, depending on where you are, if you're going to be holding it inside in two feet of snow, you're going to want more than 10 or 15 seconds. But look, this is a very easy tractor start. You don't really have to heat this tractor, but you might have to heat your one. I just give it a quick. Yeah, here we go. Um, we're gonna go straight back here to first. We're up to second. Uh, we're in high. Uh, handbrake is down. I usually leave the handbrake down because um, 
But when I'm not using the tractor every day, I'd be kind of afraid the handbrake would get seized up. So I leave it down, kind of. Oh, there's an unbelievable lock in this tractor. Like, look, look at that. Like, that's... That's an unbelievable lock. We, did, we didn't make it the whole way around. So that's okay. Um, there's a lovely sound off this engine. Absolutely handsome sound off this engine. We're in first. We go for second. Yeah, watch it. And there's not much room out there now on that road. Um, but I'm going to swing around here and one, just one go. Um, like you wouldn't turn a four-wheel drive tractor in the same place. Like, watch that. It's that's no brake, no nothing. Just back in again. Um, that's kind of it really. Um, I hope you liked the video. Um, just a quick brief rundown through a Massey 375. Um, they're a fantastic tractor. They hold their value. If you're thinking of buying one, go ahead and buy it. I'd be told, no, I shouldn't have turned it off that fast, but it's okay. Um, if you liked the video, subscribe. And if you didn't, or if you think you have any tractor you kind of want me to look at, um, let me know, and I'll do my best to try and find them. And sure, look, we'll go and look at them, and we'll put up a video on YouTube. And thanks to my subscribers that are there already, and um, keep up the good work. And um, that's kind of it. Like I said, subscribe to me, and um, we can go from there.